we invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. The octopus is an octopod that can grow up to a meter and a half, soft-bodied, without an internal skeleton like the squid, nor an external one. If you look closely there is a tentacle with a suction cup much larger than the others, it is the hectocotyl, a modified arm that carries the reproductive organ. Regarding its weight, it's an extremely intelligent animal. Because it has no outer shell or skeleton, it uses its ability to penetrate cracks, holes, etc. It learns to hide from predators and to use objects for cover. Another means of defense is its rare camouflage ability, achieving through its chromatophores to reproduce the colors of the places where it is found, which range from white, to sand and dark brown when it's on a rock. To mislead its predators, it can also drop and or wrinkle its body giving it a rocky texture, which helps not only to camouflage itself from predators, but also to hunt for fish and food. Their diet is very varied, and can include live fish, dead fish, crustaceans or invertebrates. It kills its prey by suffocation or bite pressure with its two very sharp teeth. The octopus has binocular vision, like humans, and also color perception. The ink it releases to confuse its predators has an odor and is composed of melanin. Octopuses inhabit various regions of the ocean, including coral reefs, pelagic waters, and the seabed, some live in the intertidal zone and others at abyssal depths. Most species grow quickly, mature early, and are short-lived. In most species, the male uses a specially adapted arm to deliver a bundle of sperm directly into the female's mantle cavity, after which he becomes senescent and dies. Strategies to defend themselves against predators include the expulsion of ink, the use of camouflage and threat displays, the ability to jet quickly through the water and hide, and even deceit. The nest of an octopus is basically a corner or rock niche in which the eggs are placed in clusters, hanging from the ceiling, and which are oxygenated and moved by the female by releasing water through her siphon. Trigger traps consist of a rectangular pot baited with a plastic crab connected to a trip wire that triggers a trap door when grasped by an octopus. Prior to the introduction of the trigger trap, the primary gear used in the fishery was open-ended passive shelter pots set on demersal long lines.
Octopuses also frequent low tide areas, chasing their favorite prey, crabs or fish that are trapped in tidal pools and therefore unable to escape. They are also regular visitors to the mussel areas, which they love. It's very easy to find in the low coastal areas, at low tide, octopuses resting on the corners of the rock, in darker areas waiting for the arrival of the tide.